Fish pie, very simple. Cod, salmon, smoked haddock, prawns. The garnish for the fish pie is leeks, chopped egg, and grated cheddar. Good fish stock. The stock I'm using today is Nor Fish Stock Pot. It's really, really good. The beauty of Nor Fish Stock Pot is not just the product, it's what it does for you, it's how it assists you at home. It's the best stock possible. My sauce is based on a classical roux, which is butter and flour, and to finish that sauce, a little cream. Once you start the dish, finish the dish. It's very quick, it's very simple. So, melt your butter in the pan, add your flour, and work your roux. If you don't want lumps in your sauce, then use a whisk. Lots of people use a wooden spoon. Very hard to make a sauce without lumps with a wooden spoon. In the old days, when I started, you had to use a wooden spoon because pans were copper. So you had to use a wooden spoon, otherwise you wore away the tin on the sides. So as you can see, I'm starting to add my stock, little by little. You whisk it in to incorporate air into it. By incorporating the air, you break down the starch. You work it. You give it that creamy texture at the end. As you can see, it's not a big job, but it's a job that needs mothering. In with the last of the fish stock. As the heat comes into the stock, the sauce will start to thicken. What you want is a sauce which is light, but still with texture. If you think of those classical sauces from years ago, they were just too heavy. I diluted my fish stock pot with 400 mils of water and now I'm going to add another 100 mils of double cream. And so when this comes to the boil, we'll add our fish. Poach by about two thirds into the dish, then we'll build up our layers of texture. If you think of what we've done so far is we've built layers of flavour. We made our roux, then we added our nor fish stock pot, we cooked it out, then we added some cream to enrich it to give it that velvety texture. And now what we're going to do is add our fish and our shellfish, which again releases their juices and contributes to that flavour. Always taste your velouté or your bechamel, whichever you use, and just taste the flour. And as you cook it out, what happens is the, the flavour of the flour disappears and the flavour of the fish comes through. Because if you don't cook it out, it tends to be floury. So you can see by the cooking that the sauce is now very rich. We add our cod, we add our salmon, our smoked haddock. So you now gently poach your fish in your sauce. Take our shrimps, and again slowly work them into the sauce. What really shows off the texture of the sauce is the way it coats the fish. So now transfer it to our pie dish, then we take some leeks which have been blanched and dried. When I was talking earlier about building layers of flavour, we're now building layers of texture. Not everybody likes eggs in fish pie. I always believe that a fish pie without an egg is not a fish pie. Nice and traditional. Then what we do is take some mild cheddar. Again, there's no real recipe, it's your choice. There's no rule saying you have to put eggs in. There's no rule saying you have to put leeks in. There's no rule saying it has to be cheddar. The base of the pie is the roux base sauce with an all fish stock. Poach your fish in it, that's a must. The potatoes with the egg yolks, a little bit of cream or milk, your choice, to put on top is a must. This little bit here is up to you. See, this is pure potato. There's two or three egg yolks incorporated into the potato, just to richen the potato and assist in the browning. As you can see, I'm creating a fish scale design, but leave it to your imagination. And that will go in an oven for about 15 minutes at about 200. And there's our classic fish pie. As you can see how the potatoes puffed, but that's because of the egg yolks which I incorporated into the mash earlier, which has also assisted that nice golden brown. Really beautiful.